After Don't Cry, um, I don't know if it was a single directly after, but you then had the Siggy Dance. Yeah, the Siggy Dance. Now, when I first uh, heard and seen that, you know, obviously I laughed my ass off. And <laughs> I was bobbing my head to it and I was thinking, is he trying to do like what Soldier Boy did and what other artists have done, which is you create a dance and then it catches on, it goes viral. Is that kind of what you were trying to achieve? Yeah, I, I was doing it I, mainly for TikTok, really. Um, I had a massive TikTok account, over a million fucking followers or whatever, and it got deleted. Uh, and since then, I've had four accounts deleted. Uh, this, they're fuckheads, eh? Like, I, I jumped off, did a big jump off a bridge into the water and they like deleted that for dangerous fucking dangerous acts or some shit and just heaps of dumb shit that like i don't know what's wrong with social media even the instagram's fuck now you can't do anything fun anymore they just shut you down like i've had my insta deleted like three times now and what so this is basically like social media censorship just because you're posting shit that they don't agree with yeah yeah yeah, uh, especially TikTok because they don't give you any like, they don't even give you any warning, bro. They just fucking take it, gone. See you later. Like whereas Instagram, they give you like you can email and shit. And I just got a friend uh, to create heaps of bots, and he just uh, spammed them with like with m my, what I was saying, like oh you know this it wasn't me, fucking blah blah, just trying to get my account back. And I apparently they got so pissed off they just gave it back because the bots just kept fucking spamming them. <laughs> so I guess before the TikTok account got taken down, did you notice that the Siki dance was taking off, whether it was on TikTok or, you know, just out and about, or it didn't really kick off the way you hoped it would? Um, it didn't, it like did well on uh, TikTok, but yeah, it didn't take off as well as I thought. Like uh, it did all right on YouTube. I think it's on a, like, couple of hundred thousand i don't know um but yeah it's the most request one of the most requested songs when i do shows can't want me to do the sicky dance um so yeah yeah lot, lots of people kids loved it um but yeah T tbh i kind of got that idea off do the curse but anyway <laughs> yeah i was like well, i'm gonna fucking bring this back and just do something different but i've got an actual another song um called the dodgy dingo dance it hasn't been released yet um and it's i'm gonna try and make it australia's gangnam style so it's gonna be like you, you dodgy dingo dance is fucking right so i'm just it's just real easy it's just gyrating one side and gyrating another side like you're fucking someone you get a partner and you fucking do it all and yeah so i just got to shoot that video the song's done uh it's more of like a like a do 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 like a techno -y beat um yeah, more clubby and shit. But yeah, I'm sitting on that. I've just got to get the video clip filmed and we'll be releasing that. Now you dropped, and we, we've talked about it already. After that, a um, couple singles later, uh, you dropped VB. And then after VB, uh, you dropped Pineapples, which is, you know, all about having money and stuff. And the thing that that reminded me of is somewhere I heard you say that you made like a gang of money on cryptocurrency before rap? Uh, yeah, and uh, Uber. So can you talk a little bit about that whole cryptocurrency and Uber thing? Well, the cryptocurrency thing was kind of an accident. So um, I had like a tech buddy that we grew up with um, and he fucking was investing in it when dial-up was around. Um, that's how old fucking, that's how old Bitcoin is. Uh, no cunt knew about it. He knew it because his dad was like a fucking uh, was stockbroker or whatever, some shit. And um, he m managed to talk me into putting $50 in when it was like one cent a share or some shit. And um, I was like, whatever. I, 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 yeah, I just said, whatever, do it. And then like s fucking years later, uh, he messaged me out of the blue and forgot about it. And he was like, bruh, I'm a millionaire. I'm like, what do you mean, cunt? And he's like, you know that fucking hundred dollars we put in fucking back when we were kids? The cunt's worth shitloads. And um, yeah, so we went halves 
on whatever he got, whatever we got, and I got a bit of money out of that, and then I just put some into the cryptocurrency. I mean, sorry, not cryptocurrency, into Uber before it went public. And when it went public, it blew up. And I just knew Uber was gonna go hectic because, I don't know, I just I just saw more. I saw past the Uber taxis, and I saw like uh, Uber Eats now. Um, Uber bring drugs, or like Uber bring whores. I don't know. <laughs> I just saw like this massive thing going down, and I was like, yeah, um, I invested in it with a friend. He's, he's the knowledge out of it all, I don't really know. I just more like invest money, I don't know how the fuck it all works. Um, and yeah, but I took ev everything out of everywhere when Corona came. It, it was more like, it was like, more like just over a mil. Well, that's, that's, what, he, that's what he told me anyway. <laughs> but I was happy with that. So I was like, he could have got fucking 10 mil, I don't know. But fuck 50 bucks and, and making that money, I was like, shit, yeah. And I was fucking just doing dumb shit but laying bricks and shit like that when when I f when I found out that's crazy so you basically made a mill off like bitcoin and yeah. the uber thing way yeah way back when it was now what is it now fucking like a thousand bucks a share or fucking a hundred bucks or some shit it's crazy now the, the, the lesson oh uh, yeah